Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? What is it a Tuesday night? I feel like it's Friday. <laughs> I worked all weekend, that's why. So <laughs> but, uh, here we are once again for our lovely show and tell. I have all these lovely ladies here and I'm hoping that uh, you'll find something that they're doing, whether it's in person or live that you're going to enjoy signing up for. And um, just a few other things I have. Uh, let's see, I have um, more information that the, the uh, convention is coming along well, I've got some advertisements, I'm going to be putting out the collage of all the classes as I do every year. And I'm going to mute Ross because you're making noises, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I muted you. <laughs> so um, there will be uh, that will be coming out. The registration opens October 1st. And everybody that's when the catalog comes out on October 1st. So right away, if you get the catalog or you download the catalog and you want to register, you can register right away. You don't have to wait another whole month and a half to do so like in the past. Um, there's also going to be make it take it, but they're going to be just like you're registering for a class. You're going to register for the make it take it and you will get the PDF, I hope, right away like you do for the classes. But the videos will not be posted until February 1st of next year. And the there will be door prizes. They'll be shipped to directly out um, by the artists. So there is a little box to tick off, if you will, in the registration saying that you do or do not allow, you know, give my give your consent to me to release your address and uh, information to the teacher to mail out your um, either PDF, so an email or, or snail mail address. So all of that will be there. So if you start to register October 1st and at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern time and something doesn't go well, it's probably because you didn't tick off a box. So you need to make sure you go through every single section and make sure you ticked off a box that, that uh, is mandatory. But other than that, we are gonna have a quick night tonight. We have uh, what, four teachers and they are gonna show you what they're gonna be painting, not only just for me, but for themselves. If they hold their own seminars or they have their own online classes, they're also gonna show you what they are doing for the other groups. Um, and there's several groups out there that are still meeting and wanna paint. So I hope that you'll find something that is near and dear you so you can go and join them and support these artists so they can keep on doing what we love best and that's a designing. So our first person tonight on my list is Miss Ross Delcup. You have to unmute yourself now. Okay, okay hi, everybody. Oh, that, <laughs> there you go. Hi, I had a little problem. Oh no, we just you just muted yourself. You're muted. Unmute. There you go. Now you're unmuted. Now you can hear me. Okay. Whew. <laughs> anyway, I have coming up um, uh, strawberries and watermelon on September the uh, 26th which is um, from 12 to five. And this is on an apron and it's one that's been around, but I thought maybe there might be a bunch of you that might want to do it. And you can do it on an apron. You can do it um, on a pillow. You could do it on a tote bag. I think it'd be really cute on a tote bag. Um, if you want to do it on fabric, you're still going to use the same acrylic paints, only you don't a little textile medium, a little fabric medium. Otherwise, it's just regular deco art acrylic paint. And so you could put it on a tray, a signboard, whatever. But anyway, I think the colors are really fun and pretty. And I had put it on a striped apron. And I have worn this one a few times, so it might even have something on it. But I think it's kind of cute. So uh, hopefully you might want to do that. Um, 
I've kind of got that planned. And then October the 15th, we're going to do By the Shore, which is, this is an artful webinar, but that other one with the apron is an artful webinar too. Um, this is a, a webinar with Cindy and um, By the Shore is October the 15th. And it's 12 to 5, and that's an artful webinar. And again, this is just a nice, simple little theme. And this board came from Hobby Lobby, and I've got a couple of them. I think it's a really cute little simple board. It's already painted white, and so it's nice to work on as far as that's concerned. Um, so that's a deco art acrylic paint, too. And then um, for the beach class coming up, um, let me think. I've got a couple of things going on, but this is one of them, which was a, a snow scene that we're going to do. Um, I'm trying, I guess I haven't got too many, but the beach class is uh, September, not September, October the 26th. I think this one's full, which is nice to say, but we do plan extra beach classes. We've already picked dates for uh, in February, and it's before the convention here. It's the couple of weeks before. Um, that we do here at the beach, and it is an in-person class. It's about the only one, one of the few that I still do because with my husband's health, I kind of can't really be away at night these days. Um, but anyway, we do four days here at the beach, and if you haven't come to Virginia Beach sometime, that's a great time to come because it's off-season. The hotel, which is right on the ocean, uh, it's a local hotel that we've been using for years, and the people are really nice. Uh, it's next door to a big Hilton if you want something fancier, but this is this is a lot less expensive. Anyway, um, it runs Monday through Thursday, and I hope you'll plan to come sometime. We really have a good time. My, my friend Brenda puts it together, and she does a great job. Then for the convention now coming up, which is going to be um, um, February the 28th through... Uh, what have I got? February the 20th? No, that's just the March date. 3rd. Yeah, February 26th through March 3rd. Right, yeah. February 26th is where it starts. These are just when I have classes. And we're going to do the daisies in a white basket, which is uh, on a board. And it's uh, a basket, but done in white instead of an actual one. And it's just fun, springy colors. It makes you feel good that time of the year when you need a little perk pick me up. And then the other one is going to be. Um, the mill one, which again, it has been around for a while, but um, it's one of my favorites and I think people enjoy it. With the pattern packet, you have two choices. You can do it like uh, an 11 by 14 or 12 by 16, or you can do it as a 16 by 20. Both sizes of the patterns are included and I don't have one because I've sold them, but I will be painting it again and I'm gonna paint it a smaller size for the class because it fits under the camera better. So that's why you, and you have a choice to do them either size as far as that's concerned. So that's Mabry Mill, and I think I had it spelled wrong at one point, um, but maybe I've got it corrected. It's M-A-B-R-Y, there's no Y in it. But anyway, I realized it when I was working on the, the, the um, um, uh, pattern packet, and I thought, uh oh, I've got that wrong. But that's March the 2nd, uh, from 10 to 3, and the daisies is February the 28th, which is 10 to 3. And I'm also going to do um, a make it take it. And uh, I, I haven't, I just kind of got this done today, but I thought it would be fun for spring to do a flower pot. Then this is just a clay flower pot and a little trowel, which is just an inexpensive one that comes from the hardware store, and another pair of little uh, gardening gloves. This makes a great gift for somebody and where you want a little birthday present or something and needless to say you're not spending a fortune on time or pieces and it's got um uh, lilacs and little daffodils and they're kind of meant to be those little small daffodils anyway that's going to be and i don't know the time on that or not, but cindy will have all that good information for you and that's coming up so i hope you'll come and paint sometime um enjoyed meeting a lot of you and i look forward to seeing more of you I love, I love the fact uh, that you're doing the trial and things that I'm thinking my girlfriend just told me that she goes to a, uh, belongs to a garden club. Uh huh. And so I'm thinking, wouldn't that be a beautiful centerpiece or um, a door prize right. for a, you know, a person at a garden right, club, right? Right, right. 
And so, then I thought, you know, we might even consider, and I haven't even, we haven't talked about it yet, but this one that I'm doing here at the beach, we might consider doing this in November. Okay. If you're interested. Okay. So I can send you the information about that. What's the name of that one? Uh, it's just, it's on a board and I just stuck it on this because I didn't have a, oops, <laughs> right side up. It's just a pretty snow scene. And I thought, well, maybe you might enjoy that one. So, and I yeah. haven't taught it like all over the place or anything. So it's not, I thought, oh, maybe let's do that one. That's a good one. But so, then let's, let's talk after this. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Super. <laughs> Thank you, Roz. Okay, so next I have is Miss Rosie Singlevich. Let's see, replace me. There you go. Hi, everybody. Okay, this is coming up and we had to do a date change. This is my piece called um, Welcome to My Studio, which you could put that or anything you want to in the bottom space. And we had originally scheduled it for September 27th, and that's my open house for school, so I have to be there. So we've changed the date. It's now going to be on Sunday, October 1st, and it's going to be from noon to four. So if you're interested, we've got a date change. It's on a weekend, and I hope you will join me for doing this. It's a lot of fun. Um, then we also have coming up in October, end of October, my fall centerpiece. And this is, you know, I grabbed a candle. Okay, so I have, I have a candle in there. And this one is coming up on October 29th, again from 12 to 4. And we will be painting the three pumpkins in class, but the pattern packet has the directions to do the floral piece and how to assemble it. So again, that's October 29th from 12 to 4. And again, I hope you'll join me for that. And then coming up for convention, I have this Art Nouveau tile. This one happens to be, I'm getting a reflection. Um, this one just happens to be done on a piece of illustration board that I framed. And I actually, when I hang it, I hang it this way. Um, but that will be in um, the Artful Webinars Convention. Okay. And this is just a piece of illustration board. And it is monochromatic in that there's only about four colors that you use for this piece. Um, I'm also going to include in the pattern packet, this one isn't plum, but I'm going to include uh, pink and uh, blue color combination. So if you want to change the color, you can. And then also for art for webinars, I'll be doing make it, take it. And this is, get it up right. This is a mixed media piece. These are um, iris, but the all of the shadowing and detail is done with a pencil called a sketch and wash pencil. Sketch and wash is made by General Pencil and it is water soluble graphite. So if you've never used it, it's a lot of fun, very easy to use. And then we add, so that gives you your values. Then you add watercolor for your main colors. And then you go back in with colored pencil and add some shading. So um, that will be one of the make it take it's for artful webinars for the convention. So I hope you'll join me for one of these classes. And um, I'm looking forward to the convention, Cindy. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rosie. Thank you. Okay. And last but not least is Miss Pat Lentine. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to share my screen to show you what I've got. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Okay, hold on, hold on. And I forgot it was, uh, Maria will be after you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead, Pat. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Yep. And um, show you what I've got. Okay, th this first one is, um, a uh, workshop with Artful Webinars, and it's um, October 26th from 6 to 10. And um, it's watercolor, and it uses minimal supplies. It's um, very easy to do. And the detail work is done with uh, one pencil and um, an ink pen. So you don't have to worry about those fine lines because it's all done with a pencil or pen. And you can use a travel set of uh, 12 watercolors, or you can bring your own if you have them. Um, it doesn't matter. And just a, a few brushes. Um, so, uh, and the brushes can be watercolor brushes or acrylic brushes. They both work with watercolor. So, 
Um, if you've never tried it before, um, it might be a good one to, to get started on. So that's, oh my, I have my things covered up here. Okay. This is one that's um, I'm doing for Art Waves, and it's a value study in pastel, and it's November 1st um, from 10 to 2. And this also uses uh, minimal supplies, only five pencils, and you can, five pastel pencils, and you can basically use um, any brand. It doesn't matter. So um, if you haven't got any, you can just invest in five pencils. General pencils work great a box of general pencils. Um, so that's, uh, and, and we do the whole thing, whoops, we do the whole thing first with um, uh, just one color. It's done monochromatic and then we tint it. And it, the tinting doesn't show up well on the screen here, but I do tint it with a flesh color and the hair has got some yellow in it. And then of course some red in the um, cheeks and on the lips. So it's, it's fun, you get it all done in one color and then um, tint it. And this is another Art Waves project and it's also pastel um, and it's pastel pencil. The last one, yeah, they're all pastel pencil. And um, so it's, it's really pretty simple to do. Um, and this one you can also use just a box of um, general pencils, um, the box of 12, you can get it done with those. So you don't have to invest. And I'm also going to, um, if we have time, we will put in, we, you can put in a figure in the, um, in the sunrise. And if we have time, I will, we will do it. If we don't have time, all the instructions will be there for that. And um, also, um, um, the, the directions and the uh, different um, uh, patterns, line drawings for the for different subjects. This is all behind my share screen thing, so I can't see it. This is another Art Waves project, um, November 5th, 10 to 4. And this is pastel pencils. And again, minimal surprise. You, supplies you can substitute whatever pencils you have. Um, I'm not particular about that. Or you can do the whole thing with a, a box of uh, 12 of the general pencils um, and one black um, charcoal pencil. And um, that's basically it, a few paper stumps maybe, but um, Santas are always fun because um, they don't have to be perfect. They can be, the skin tones don't always have to be perfect. And um, I like working with Santas for that reason. Okay, and this is a convention piece. This is the pink rose, and um, it's also pastel pencils, and um, it's done on Neaton's paper, and it's a fun, not difficult project, and um, all of these, if you, um, you know, if you haven't worked with the pen pastel pencils before, um, they're not difficult to do. They're, they're a lot, I always say, um, um, Pastel pencil, pastel is instant gratification. Colored pencil takes time, but pastel is instant gratification. And this is another um, convention piece and it's basic beginner watercolors. We're gonna start with just how to, um, how much water to have in your brush and, and basic instructions on watercolor. And um, you can, if you've never done watercolor before, a small travel set um, will work. And what one thing that's fun about this is um, there's no pattern. Uh, and with the easy step-by-step -step instructions, it, it's just fun and easy to do. And they're quick and they make good greeting cards if, if you uh, would like to do that. Let's see here. So Pat, what, what size was the... Um the pastel rose piece? Um, it's, I think it's um, matted in a, a um, eight by 10, um, five by seven, I believe, is what the size I'm doing. I've got the project here. After I show you the rest of this and we go back to our screen, I can show you exactly what size it is. I okay. don't have any Yeah, someone is asking, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll show you that as soon as 
we stop sharing. Um, uh, this is a make it take it for the convention, and um, it, this is only you only use two um, graphite pencils for this, and it's fun. And um, again, it's a value study, and it's it's nice, and and it's, the graphite blends so easily. You know, if you're a colored pencil person, I love my colored pencils, but the pastels and the graphite blend really nice and um, save time. Um, and then I just mentioned that I do weekly Zoom, uh, Zoom classes, um, Tuesday night and Wednesday afternoon. And if you want more information on those, you can go to my website um, and look, click on online classes. Uh, you can email me at pat at patlantine.com if you have any questions. And I also do a few in-person classes at, in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, if anybody's in the area and wants information on that. So I hope you can uh, join me for that, for one of those. And let me get my, I have a mat down here. And I believe it fits in this mat. Yeah, it's a- Eight by 10. It's an eight by 10 mat with a, a five yeah. by seven opening. So, and you can do it any size. If you want to do it larger, my, the first time I did it, I did it large. In fact, I, oh, I can't get at it right now. Or yeah, it's right here. The first time I did it, I did it very large. Right. So you can blow it up and do it large too. But Awesome. So, thank you. Well, thank you very much for that. And um, I'm loving that we are, so what size? Okay, you've got that already, Phyllis is good. Okay, so um, I'm really loving that a lot of people are, are offering like more beginner pieces or like introductory pieces with minimal um, supplies supplies yeah yeah I really I really like that so that really helps the the newbies be able to take right. a class. to try a new medium try a new medium but you don't have to invest much exactly um Pat is asking what is your website it's patlentine.com there you go. So I'm yeah. sure Sandy will put it in the, and my, my girl Tuesday will put it in the can, um, comments so that everyone will have that. But thank you Easy so much. Easy to Pat. remember. Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> and, much. And Lentine, if you, Lentine is spelled like Valentine without the VA. So if anybody can't remember how to spell my name. There you go. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I'm sorry to have missed out. Maria is, Miss Maria Gromanis is next. Hi, everyone. It's no problem that you missed me, Cindy. It really isn't. You know, I'm going to be here the whole time anyway. <laughs> That's right. Um, so um, thank you for joining us tonight and for taking a peek. And let me do a quick switch and I will show you my projects. So first up, I have um, what I call swamp meat. In, you know, there's nothing like finding love in the swamp. Um, so this lovely couple met in the swamp. And this is a beginner to intermediate piece. As long as you can base coat and float, um, you're good to go. We will learn how to do some wet on wet blending to create this feathered look. And I will cover how to float if you are a beginner. And we will also cover some stippling. I use uh, DecoArt paints for this. And this is on an ex inexpensive um, um, studio panel that you can pick up at Hobby Lobby. And this class is through Artful Webinars. And it's on Tuesday, October 10th um, from 6 to 10 p.m. So I hope you will join me for Swap Meet. Next up, I have a class that I will be doing on Wednesday, November 15th for Artful Webinars. And this is called Time for Coco. Um, once again, from Hobby Lobby, 
this is um, a fairly inexpensive surface. Um, colors are limited. They're in deco art paints. And this is a tray with a wood insert that just simply screws in there. So um, other than your paints, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, we're going to stencil um, and we'll learn how to stipple and once again, cover some floating. Um, the class is November 15th from 6 to 10 p.m. And it's called Time for Cocoa. It's a fun little design and a cute way to serve uh, drinks at uh, winter time, not just holiday time, but winter time. For convention, I am up on Tuesday, the uh, February 27th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And this project is called Under the Sea. Um, we will learn um, wet on wet blending, some stenciling again, lots of floating and lots of stippling. It, this looks far more difficult than it actually is to actually do. Uh, probably the hardest part, since I am not a stroke work painter, is the stroke work on the edges. So if once again, if you can float and you're a beginner, don't be afraid to take this. And this is called Under the Sea. It is on a Bentwood box. However, it's a round design. And I will be demoing it on one that's a little larger, not a box, but a, uh, an ex inexpensive tray from Hobby Lobby. And I'm also working on a 20 inch round that will hang uh, on the wall in one of my bathrooms. So you, as long as it's round, you're good to go. I wouldn't get any smaller than this 12 inch box though. You can get larger, but not smaller. And last but not least, which is why it was okay with me to be last because I forgot to grab this make it and take it project that I will be teaching for convention. And it is a bookmark and it is on a wood surface. You can certainly paint it on paper or a stiff board uh, if you choose, but you know, the wood surface is inexpensive enough. So I hope you will join me for one or all of these projects. And again, thank you for looking. Bye. <laughs> thank you, Maria. <laughs> I know it's been a crazy day for everybody. <laughs> so, um, or me, I should say. Um, so that being said, again, the convention, I don't know, catalog will be out October 1st. And also it's a PDF, so you can download it or you could just view it on your computer or iPad, whatever tablet that you have. The phone is not always the best way to view things on our webinars because the screen is so small unless you have a really big, you know, screen, it's, it's kind of hard on a phone. If you want to register for any of the classes, you will be able to do it right away this time. We're not waiting till Black Friday to do it. So you'll be able to register right away. In addition, on uh, Monday, we will be giving you a pre-holiday slash pre-Black Friday. We're not waiting till Black Friday this year to lower some prices and give you some deals on some webinars. So. Uh, you can go check that out Monday morning. You'll see some price uh, changes and hopefully this will help you to either um, join the class or ask for a uh, early Christmas present, if you will, or if your birthday's coming soon or just recently had one, maybe you can ask for a birthday present, gift certificate to ARPA webinars. I, I like to say that it is the gift that keeps on giving because you have the pattern forever and you can watch the video for 90 days after it's posted, which brings me to, if you didn't already know, any webinar that's available for 90 days, which they all are, but if you catch it like 
either before or right after it's gone live within the first 60 days of it going, having been taught, you can still purchase that webinar and get the video replay. So up until the 60 days after the webinar was posted, and we have been putting on the website underneath the photograph and title of the project, this video replay it will be you know, accessible until, and we put the date. So you'll see when it'll go away. So if there, if you say, I, I, I wanted to take Pat's BFF and I can't make that day, but you can get the replay. Well, say it, it was last week and you missed it and you just noticed it now. You can still go by that class. I mean, it hasn't happened yet. It's just a, <laughs> I'm just going and giving you an example, um, but you can go and buy that class that happened last week and you can still get the video replay and have it for the duration. So not all the classes and not all the webinars that we have live go in our library. So if it really is something you think you would like to do, don't hesitate and go ahead and grab that. Um, so yeah, uh, tell them to contact me. Yes. So if you have any questions for Pat about her blender brushes or the pastel pencils or anything like that, feel free to contact Pat and she will give you the information you're looking for if she can. Um, any other questions from anybody for any of these artists, lovely artists? No? Um, they are all available on their either their websites or they have Facebook pages. Some have YouTube channels. Some have um, Instagrams. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways to contact them. If it all else fails, go into our where you are now, Artfully Connected with Cindy Harrison. Put an at sign and make sure their name touches the at sign. And it will come up with options as to who you want to contact, highlight their name and ask your question or whatever it is you want to say to them. And then they will be notified that they have something to look at on Facebook and they will come back and they will they will uh, look at it. So that's how you're going to get a hold of them. All these teachers are always available to their students. If you ever have any questions, if you're doing the class on a video and you not sure where you are, if you should lighten or darken or do this or do that, I believe you can contact them all and they will get back to you and give you a critique if that's what you're looking for or a clarification on a written instructions if that's what you need. They are always there for you. And that's what I love about these artists that they just don't leave you high and dry. They're there for you to be successful. That's what we're all about, making you successful. So don't hesitate. Don't think a class is out of your reach beyond your level. Go ahead, take that jump, take the leap of faith, do the class, even if you can't keep up. Just take a deep breath and watch and take notes. You have the recording for 90 days and you can then do the class at your speed after when you get the recording. And if you took a class and pay, you know, you, you registered for a class and paid for it in the last since uh, 20, 2020, and we put it in the library, you'll get an email with a code allowing you to have access to that replay for free. All you have to do is pay for the pass, for, uh, pass holder, a library pass card, it's not a card, but you know what I mean, a library pass, and then you will have ac uh, the ability to purchase that class for free and have access to it as long as your library pass is in good standing. So that's the other bonus. Again, not all get in there, but if it does, you'll be notified. If you ever have any questions for me, don't hesitate to call me or email me or Facebook message me. Obviously, you know, emails will be faster, phones even faster with a response. Don't put it in a comment in the newsfeed. I may not see that. But text, you know, text messaging in the in the mess Facebook Messenger, an email or a phone call. 
So that being said, how long are classes in the library? How long are they like the duration of the video, or is it how long do you get access to the classes? So while Darlene's doing that, um, let's go to gallery. So again, you get access to the classes for as long as you have paid your library pass or the teacher, um, if the teacher deems it to go away. So get access. Yeah, you have access for a year every time you you do your library pass uh, renewal. You get a year. So as long as you keep that, keep paying for your library pass every year, you continue to have access every year. Again, I started to say unless a teacher asks me to take it down, and then I will notify you, and you have till the next renewal. Um, and then when you renew, it won't be there anymore. But Teachers haven't asked me to take anything down, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> so that being said, uh, hopefully our next show and tell is on the 25th, and hopefully we'll have some even more people, more artists join us. And because that will be our last push before our catalog goes live on October 1st, and you're able to register for your classes. So ask for those gift certificates early and look uh, for Artful webinars, painting, uh, registration, class registrations on Monday to see which ones have gone on sale because we want to start the holidays off early. <laughs> it's just the way we are. Um, why wait until Black Friday, right? There you go. Thank you, ladies who are here. Thank you, all the teachers, lovely teachers, for joining me and Sandy, my girl Tuesday. And thank you all for watching this. Everyone have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you soon. Say bye.